our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam gave us five steps in order to execute any plan. So anytime we have something we need to do, go back to this hadith. This hadith lays out for us in five steps what should be our methodology, our management, our modus operandi, how do we operate? Our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam explained to us in a hadith narrated in Sahih Muslim by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an. And each of these phrases is beautiful. We have to condense them because of the time. First phrase, it begins, Al-mu'minu al-qawiyyu ahabbu ila Allahi min al-mu'min al-da'if wa fi kullin khayr. The skilled believer, the powerful believer, the believer who knows something is armed, is equipped with anything, is better than the believer who does not have those skills. And both of them are good. This is the first point. We need to acquire strength, skills. Al-mu'min al-qawi, the stronger believer. Stronger in what? In anything. Stronger in physical strength, stronger in iman. Stronger in management, stronger in computer programming, stronger in the knowledge of medicine. Whatever is your field, aim to be the best. The better believer is the one who knows his field better. Al Mu'min al Qawi, the stronger believer. Our scholars say, stronger here in any aspect. If you know something, if you're better at a skill, if you have stronger Iman, it is better than the one who doesn't in that field. And there's good in all believers. There's good in all the believers. Whether you have that skill or not, you have Iman, you have good in you. So that's the first point. Acquire skills. Be the better believer. The second point. Aim to do something that will benefit you. Once you have skills, you don't just sit back. احرص على ما ينفعك. Set some strategic goals. Have a vision. Have a plan. Do something useful with your life. This is what we're being told. We're being told, be eager to do something that is beneficial. It is beneficial to have iman and good deeds. Be eager to have them. It is beneficial to have a job. Acquire a job. It is beneficial to save money. Save money. It is beneficial to have a loving family. Have a loving family. You have to have desires, aims, goals. You have to have a vision. If you don't have a vision, nothing is going to get done. So the second point, have that vision. What do you want from life? What do you want to accomplish? What is your goal? And you should have multiple goals. My goal in the religious field is such and such. My goal in the economic field is such and such. My goal in my corporation, corporation is such and such. My goal for my family life is such and such. In every field, have a vision, have a plan, have a goal. Number two. Number three, wasta'in billah. First and foremost, after you have the vision, before you do anything, seek help from Allah. Before you do anything, you have the vision in your mind. It's in your head. You have it in your goal. What should you do? Raise your hands to Allah and make dua. Ista'in billah. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ista'in billah. Seek the help of Allah. Our scholars say, you seek the help first and foremost by praying istikhara for that vision and goal. Pray istikhara. Oh Allah, is this vision good for you, me? I want to be the CEO of my own company. That's my vision. Pray istikhara. Oh Allah, if it's best for me to be the CEO of my company, make it happen for me. Then make dua to Allah. Always make dua to Allah. Then make it blessed. Make it easy for you. Allow this door to open up. Ista'in billah. That is point number three. Number four. Wala ta'jaz. Don't give up. Subhanallah. What a beautiful, beautiful motivation. Don't just throw in the towel. Don't be lazy. Don't just expect miracles to happen without you doing anything. No. Once you have the skills, once you have the vision, you've prayed istikhar and made dua to Allah. Now you need to put in the sweat and the tears. You need to put in the physical effort. You need to put in plan A, doesn't work, move on to plan B, doesn't work, move on to plan C. Never give up, wala ta'jaz. Don't lose hope, keep on doing it, and then doing it, and then doing it. Keep on trying, don't give up hope. And then 
suppose you don't get to that goal or suppose something else happens or suppose some type of mini misfortune happens along the way our prophet ﷺ has the advice for us if something else happens you wanted to open your company guess what it didn't happen and you continued in your job you didn't open your company you tried you tried you tried whatever it didn't work out and khalas the door is permanently closed not because of you sometimes it's beyond your control okay it's closed now so our prophet ﷺ said if something else happens then don't go back and rethink oh maybe if i did this maybe if i did that don't say to yourself don't go back in your mind and relive your failures and then think what if and how about and maybe no it's happened it was the past instead say this I tried it didn't work out Allah's qadr was effective and whatever Allah wants to happen will happen don't go back and relive your failures don't let your failures bog you down don't go into a type of cycle of depression or of going back in time no it was an opportunity you thought it was good you did everything right but Allah had a better plan for you so khalas, that door is closed move on to the next chapter in your life learn from your mistakes don't blame anyone don't go back khalas, it happened it was Allah's qadr and whatever Allah wants to happen, it is going to happen. This is the simple five-step plan. It is the foolproof methodology for our lives, for every aspect.